and here we go again today I'm going to have a quick look and, and make a very obvious uh, demonstration about YouTube believe it or not and one of the people in our club asked me why I use YouTube and what's YouTube all about obviously they'd never bothered and just bear in mind we do run a club for senior citizens uh, where I live and when we were all at school we didn't have computers we barely had calculators uh, so really all this modern technology as we call it was just not available to to the older generation so we've had to jump in at the deep end and learn what we could how we could when we could and obviously for some of us it became very confusing I'm very fortunate that uh, I fell in love with computers some while ago and learned as much as I could about them so that's what drives me forward to make the videos for people who maybe aren't quite as, for as fortunate as I was. So let's take a look at YouTube. To pop into my browser and click on the YouTube icon and this takes us to my home page Howard L Hall on YouTube. This is the one I rave about every month when I make a demonstration. There's a subscribe button if uh, people didn't know. So let's, why do we use YouTube? What's it all about? Well this is like a learning aid for people like myself because I use it quite a lot as well. I mean recently I had a problem with a car. I had uh, one of my quarter lights, my rear quarter light was filling up with water and being a well it's only a, a sort of eight-year-old car it's got all this modern gizmos in here where you don't need a screwdriver to change a bulb in the car so how the hell did I need did I get the cover off to get the bulb out well I turned to YouTube and uh, found a relevant video showing me how to remove the quarter light apparently the little bolt inside you undo the bolt and it just slides off no no tools needed at all now I'd never have known that without going to spend 20 pound on a book and reading the book to find how to remove this quarter light anyway it's um, all that's well and good but how does that help people well what do we use YouTube for simple I guess I will we'll look at various different things here let's take a look for example somebody's a bit interested in woodworking yeah, take a look woodworking and if you're in YouTube and you do the search you get all the little searches you need in YouTube I mean look at this lot I'll do it fairly slowly right and this this list will just keep building so this is all available in the woodworking. How do I build this? How do I make that? How can I make a joint? Um, what tools would I need? The top one there, 10 woodworking tools you'll need. Let's have a look at this video very quickly. Oh, that's very loud. I'll turn that down a bit. Um, so it's a light bulb moment, yeah. So here we go. I'm not going to just go through all the, uh, not going to do all the sound thing on there because it's, uh, if you want to watch that video then just do woodworking and find it and I'm sure that the person um, who made this video will be only too happy that you, uh, you view his video and subscribe to his channel if you find it really interesting. As you can see this guy's using a jig. It puts a hole through and a hole in so that they, you can interlock uh, two pieces of wood. So that's just one of the tools. Okay, let's let's go back. We'll leave some of that. Um, table saw. How to use a table saw. How to use epoxy revit resin with woodwork and that sort of thing. Um, five projects you can sell. They're money-making ideas here on uh, YouTube. Seven amazing woodworking tips and tricks. Now these things show you all of them. I mean, I'm going to click on this gentleman and see what he's talking about. Carving. This is, this is, I mean, if you wanted to take up carving, be it a young, uh, you know, 20 year old just left school, how would you go about doing the carving? This is a complete overall. If you, if you want to learn a trade, you could do it on YouTube alone. So I'm not going to dwell too long on that. Let's just go back another step and go back to my channel. So joints, cabinets, anything you want to make, what tools do you need to use, how to carve, how and all the rest. Available just under the one search, woodworking. Let's have a look at something else, something that most of us do at some point in our lives, whether regularly or not. 
cooking. Alu, bu <laughs> Alu Bunja. Bunja. I don't know how to pronounce that even, you know. Let alone cook it. 31 cooking hacks that will surprise you. Tasty foods. How to cook perfect lentils. I mean, this is stuff which... I guess at one time, maybe at the turn of the last century, the 1900s, 1890, 1900s, mum would teach the daughters and the sons would go out to work and the daughters would stay at home cooking. It's, it's all here, everything you need to know. If you want, let's have a look, say, if you wanted to make some bread, but you haven't got any yeast, so you use sourdough. Let's have a look for uh, sourdough. Oh, Mr. You out. You. Recipes. Sourdough recipes. Here we go. How to make the best sourdough bread. And this is stuff your mum would have taught, or your grandmum would have taught your your mum, you know. Um, so this is make a starter. You can make bread, all sorts of bread and wonderful things. And this is all available. The whole tuition lesson is available through YouTube and it's free of charge. That's another enormous uh, bonus. I mean, if you want to went to college or something to make um, various different breads so you would pay a fortune for the, the lessons and the materials etc here you just watch it and if you think oh I could do that have a go at it this is how to do it so let, let's find something else something uh, um, more precise I think let's let's try looking for cakes okay we all know how to buy cakes from the shop and most of us do if it comes to somebody's birthday quick nip round the old shop buy one get it in stock then it's birthday time it, you can even get them uh, iced and decorated and all the rest of it in a shop nowadays but can you do it yourself let's have a look cakes how to make a birthday cake for that important day chocolate cake amazing easy chocolate cake desserts fruit cake um, if I go to my website which we can do very quickly if I go to uh, hall base which is my website and Howard at all base I can go to recipes right uh, this isn't YouTube I'm just really plugging my own website farmhouse fruit cake it's an old recipe I, I make that every time I make a cake I'll make that cake so this is the way to do it easy fruit cake recipe um, how to make little uh, starter cakes little tiny cakes and that sort of thing how to make an amazing cake like that make it into a camera shape Seems a lot of wasteful on that, but that's just me, you know. So here we go. We have um, breakfast cakes. Mm, fine, okay. There's literally everything you can think of in here. Even a settee. <laughs> yeah, you build a settee, then eat it. Mm. Look like um, jammy fingers or something there going in. Um, so yeah, there's um, really everything you you could want. And just that's just by typing that one word cakes in YouTube. Let's do something else which um, people like. Go back from cooking and just try to keep on top here. Um, here we go. This is one my wife used just very recently. Knitting. How to get started with knitting. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. Um, some of the you know big stars enjoy knitting. Um, why not? It's therapeutic. It's relaxing, and there's an end result. So. You know, <laughs> the try guys, try knitting, we try anything once. Uh, how to start, how to learn to knit, how to, as you go down, obviously it's going to get more involved. 20 knitting and sewing tricks for beginners. Um, how to, how to knit hexagon stitch. Now that, I never even heard of that before. So there's something new we can all learn. Knitting, so this is just one topic. Um, Okay, let's vary a bit from this. Let's just sewing, Ooh, sewing tea. Yeah, okay, sewing t-shirts. Well, obviously, yeah. Um, uh, marathon sewing. I mean, what to use a sewing machine? Um, how to sew leather? How to change your clothing? Even you know how to to make mods on your clothing, make them last again. You you spend ten pound on maybe a a shirt or something, wear it a couple of times, and everybody's seen it and remarked how beautiful it was. Uh, but you don't want to wear it again because they oh she always wears that same old shirt. Or he, I'm not just saying ladies, just saying men as well. Um, so how can you change the look of it and the style of it just by a few stitches really? And this is where you'd learn to do it. Here we go. This is this is YouTube. 
sewing quarter Sunday the 14th of April this is just over a week ago let's have a quick look here just to to go in welcome now, I'm not going to run the video too far and uh, I, I give thanks to the millions of people who do uh, stuff on YouTube um, how to set up your sewing machine how to get it going there's various stitches you can do overlock underlock buttons all the rest buttonholes the whole rest all comes into there and you can learn how to do it all on YouTube Isn't that amazing really let's go back to the start again um, I did mention at the start here let's have a look just two words this time let's get really complicated car maintenance oops car maintenance ah, car maintenance top trips simple thing it doesn't matter what subject flying cars can they actually fly I don't know um, how to service your car um, this is it I'm not going to do that just again I'm going to flash in there uh, rubber gloves change the oil filter click it on get this get it sorted you know this is going to cost you a couple of hundred pound to get this car serviced in you get local garage changing a, a filter probably about 40 quid 35 40 pound at the local garages do it yourself why not there it is you do need a garage you probably need a set of uh, ramps as well to put your car up on so as you can get the tray underneath the car to drain the oil out before you start messing with the filters but there it is I haven't actually watched these videos myself because uh, I guess I've always relied on the garages but you know take a lesson from my own uh, video here that this is the way we go forward this is how to um, to service your car okay let's go back let's go right way back to my site what else oh another fav another topic which just came to mind here photography how many people love photography and all that it entails uh, Professor Green, Rag and Bone Man photographs. Right, let's have a look. Photographs, Ed Sheeran. I'd sooner not. Thank you. Photography. Oh, come on, this is. I guess this bloke, Ed Sheeran, he um, he released a, a song called Photography or something like that. So, uh, photography tips. We'll put down. Yeah, I like the top one. Photography tips. Uh, five tips to instantly up your photo game. Um, here we are. This is I'm not again. Not going to run the video, but just going to take snapshots from it. Th this guy's very animated. I've actually seen him. I went on him uh, once before to find out how to do something when I was in the uh, the photography club here in the village where we live, and uh, I've seen him before. I don't, uh, you know, I don't come here very often, and I don't. Uh, sort of do top class photography or anything like that I, I enjoy photography and I enjoy getting the results how to edit your photographs again there's that bloke again uh, five fashion photography uh, tips firstly you get a model and stand her in a bikini in front of you and take pictures no maybe that's maybe that's not right uh, but there we go that that's the same idea isn't it how to how to get a really nice portrait photo of somebody this is how you learn how to do that if you're sitting at home thinking I wonder how they do that you know or something comes up on the news I wonder how they do that this is how they do that there's some a giant coca-cola bottle and this is all to do with perspective and all the rest of it you take a close-up you can with Photoshop and those sort of um, software things on you can do anything now on a computer very easy it's so simple to do okay let's uh, let's move on another one which which obviously I am good with let's have a look at software see what that brings up software topic there we are software engineering crash course in computer science heavens above you paid thousands of pounds to go to university to learn this stuff you know um, some places you see a video on here you can uh, you can see something which you like the idea of you can watch a 20 minute video or so and then at the end of it it'll say if you want more information you have to enroll on a course well you know uh, if that's what you want to do that's the way you've got to go sometimes you have to pay a little bit towards education especially on uh, detailed things like um, there's blender here absolute beginners tutorial now blender is I believe it's a free package 
but it will teach you everything you need to know about how to make animated software etc um, we can go down the list it's, these lists are seemingly endless um, how to make a video game in unity the basics you can make your own games and stuff or make your own software if you think oh I could do with this package in my uh, word uh, category then you could maybe learn how to do it yourself by using the free tutorials that are on YouTube what better way to start a maybe a retirement project you know how to's I do the how to's how do you do this how to do that let's have a look down my list here um, how to do this how to play a game how to get two pages on one A4 page how to win merge how to use fast stone image etc that you've seen them all you've been there and you've watched them all so the how to's are there so if we, we want to elaborate a bit more let's go to instead of woodwork let's try something else just thought of this one metalworking metalworking must have metalwork and welding there you go that's another that's an entire new uh, job isn't it it's a career move that is how to weld and all the rest of it amazing metalworking tools you have to see okay we'll have a, just a, a quick glimpse of this and you can look these up yourself by just literally typing in the same as I did at the top there. These are amazing metalworking tools. What's this? Oh, this is a cutter. Yeah, well, you don't want to get your fingers in the way of that, I should think. Look. Hammer and dolly action at high speed. Wow. I don't know quite what's that doing. See, this is... I don't know what that is. Um... So this is maybe uh, creating a bit of a curve, yeah? Yeah, it is. Look, it's just... I'm, I, I'd never known tools like that. Yep. So, really good. S there we go. I could sit and watch that sort of thing all day, you know, without getting too bored. Um, so there we go. What else can we have a look at? Uh, right, is the one. I bet there's not much on this one. Stone working. Let's have a look at stone working. I did watch a um, a uh, TV series that showed the uh, craft of um, stone working and showed these people spending years literally learning how to do a single thing. You know, it's um, it's not the easiest. Let's have a look, just see what this guy's saying. I'm taking the Mickey. Gentle taps, chipping away at a block. Uh, writing writing stuff on a memorial perhaps but this this is an ancient craft this thing and you know these guys they as it says there 53 years of stonework um, that's what makes him good at his craft he it's probably all he's ever done in his life is just stone masonry but uh, by God you know what a what an achievement to do people will always want stones carved with names etc so then that's uh, that's stone working yeah really let's uh, have another look see if we can find anything how to use stone working tools I mean very interesting doesn't matter how little or often you see this stuff I mean this is uh, as I keep saying this this is like new ventures altogether I mean, um, explaining what different tools are which are hammers picks um, whatever um, I don't know them um, shows how to use trow and holden hammer point on granite good heavens um, you broke it <laughs> joking sorry okay so let's move on from uh, from there um, let's have a look at uh, jewelry making using American spelling because that's what it seems like there we go idea on how to create jewelry um, this this is a complete new hobby for some people some people know oh, I don't want to do that because XYZ um, but people do this is people make a living doing this uh, jewelry tutorial for beginner what the tools are snipe nose pliers and cutters and side cutters and um, 
all the rest of it they're all here in this I've looked at this one before you can tell by the way it's jumped through there but uh, chain nose pliers uh, some people call them snipe nose but uh, there we are that's uh, a whole load of different pins and projects she's got there how to make them this is not sort of get some glue and put a chain on this lovely this pebble or whatever polished pebble but you know this this is all a brand new education here that we could do so there we are that's really a quick overview of um, of YouTube and how to use it how to get the best out of YouTube it's not just Howard L Hall although very important you go to Howard L Hall and press this little button here called subscribe and you know this I mean my my videos I have some I think it's about 143 videos uh, from pop to the manager I don't think I'm giving away any secrets here uh, right I can't actually see how many I thought he told you how many I can't see straight away but on this um, little page here I can see how many people view um, how many comments I get on each of the videos how many likes and dislikes I mean they're not I'm very very fortunate there's a lot of likes um, obviously there's a few dislikes as well because you, you can't please all the people but every video I've done I don't know how many there is actually here probably 150 maybe but these are the videos that I've created and while we're on that subject there is nothing stopping you uh, if you've got a computer and a microphone you can make your own YouTube videos if you've got something you special uh, a bit something of a speciality um, or something you're just good at make a video and share it on YouTube um, see how many people like that sort of thing you n it's so simple all you have to do is press the uh, the buttons at the corner and you can start recording your own video you can do it in Windows you can do it in Mac you can do it in um, whatever uh, operating system that you operate there will be some way of connecting to YouTube and making a video there we have it that's all we've got time for today thank you very very much for listening this is my channel Howard L Hall on YouTube uh, do a search for it and this is what will come up and if you like what you see click the subscribe button that's all there is to it anyway there we go thank you very much for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this video bye for now